Welcome to the Step Point of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about key enzymes in glycolysis, fructose 2 6 bisphosphate regulation, and pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. The enzyme that uses ATP are hexokinase and glucokinase and phosphofructokinase 1, which is the rate determining enzyme in glycolysis. Hexokinase in the tissues is inhibited by its immediate product, glucose 6 phosphate and glucokinase in the liver is inhibited by the product further down in glycolysis called fructose 6-phosphate. The rate-limiting phosphofructokinase 1 is activated by both AMP and fructose 2,6-biphosphate, but inhibited by ATP and citrate. The enzymes that produces ATP in glycolysis are phosphoglycerate kinase and pyruvate kinase. Pyruvate kinase is activated by fructose 6-phosphate and inhibited by ATP and alanine. Together, these enzymes produce this net reaction. Phosphofructokinase 2 exists in two forms. The dephosphorylated form is the active form, and it is called phosphofructokinase 2, or PFK2. Phosphorylation deactivates the enzyme, which is then called fructose bisphosphatase 2, or FBPase 2. The enzyme that mediates its activity is protein kinase A. After a meal, insulin levels are raised which lower cyclic AMP levels, lowering protein kinase A activity, making the deactivated PFK2 form, which creates fructose 2,6-bisphosphate from fructose 6-phosphate that activates PFK1, increasing glycolysis and simultaneously decreasing gluconeogenesis. Inversely, while fasting, glucagon levels are raised, increasing the cyclic AMP, increasing protein kinase A activity, phosphorylating the enzyme into the active FBPase 2 form, that turns fructose 2,6-bisphosphate into fructose 6-phosphate, decreasing glycolysis and simultaneously increasing gluconeogenesis instead. Now that's a lot to remember, so just know that Fabian the peasant has to work hard when starving, and Prince Frederick works only when fed. Pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is located in the matrix of the mitochondria. It links glycolysis to the TCA cycle, it too has different states, both active and inactive. It contains a total of three enzymes and five cofactors to function. The cofactors are thymine pyrophosphate from vitamin B1, lipoic acid, CoA from pantothenic acid or vitamin B5, FAD from B2 or riboflavin, and NAD plus from B3 or niacin. The lovely coenzymes for nerds. This complex contains the same cofactors as the alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex. The reactants are pyruvate, NAD+, and CoA, and the products are acetyl-CoA, CO2, and NADH. If there is a large amount of NAD+, compared to NADH, this activates it, driving the reaction forward. ADP and calcium also activate this complex. The toxin arsenic inhibits lipoic acid, causing the symptoms pigmentary skin changes, skin cancer, vomiting, diarrhea, QT prolongation, and a garlic breath. If someone has arsenic poisoning, they look like a vampire vomiting and having diarrhea, running away from a cutie with garlic breath. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.